So, Roy, what uh, what kind of t trials uh, should we do in the future? Uh, what we see today is uh, um, the industry is uh, almost throwing uh, in large phase two trials, phase three trials, with um, a large number of patients. And we talked about that earlier in this program, that uh, there is a lack of science behind those uh, trial designs. Um, but I think, personally, what is important to do in the future is probably much smaller trials where we kind of uh, uh, try to figure out um, uh, proof of principles and try to get some scientific rationale to build upon for further larger trials. I think we see too much of those big, big trials out there today. Well, yes and no. I think that in the last year or two, some of the approaches actually they're all they're all coming back positive. I think you know there's been a, there's been a large push you know to identify areas of unmet need, small cell lung cancer, the chemo combinations, which intuitively one wouldn't have thought would 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 be the way to go. But in the absence of any of the of these other IO IO combos coming forward, have looked good, and these have moved forward. But you're right, Fred, because now what's happened is the bar is getting higher and higher, mm -hmm. and in lung cancer we've gone from no patients going to uh, not get an IO in lung cancer, second, third, fourth line to almost everyone's going to get an IO in the front line. And then we really have a much higher bar because now we have to find activity in the second line. And there, Fred, I think we are going to have to have probably smaller trials. Uh, we're going to be looking at either the, the very primary refractory patients who, who are, who are PDL1 high and, and didn't even benefit from pembrolizumab. In fact, they grew. So what's going on there? And then we're also going to be looking at and maybe they need chemotherapy. And then the patients who are PD-01 low, you know, who or, or PD-1 high, who've had some activity and then progressed. And I think we're going to have to test these combinations in rational ways. I agree with you. They, they all can't go to phase three. I'd love to see some investigator-initiated trials, mm -hmm. adaptive trials, just to tell you what we're doing at Yale through our SPORE. We have a trial of ipilimumab, nivolumab. And you might say, why? You know, that's already in phase three. But this is a trial where every patient gets a fresh biopsy at the beginning. Uh, we're doing imaging for PDL1, so we actually have, uh, uh, you know, our nuclear medicine folks are working on that. Uh, we're looking at tissue, we're looking at sequencing, we're looking at RNA, we're collecting stool. Uh, not my favorite thing to do. I didn't think I'd have to do that. That's why I went into lung cancer. Uh, but we, we're collecting stool, we're doing microbiome work, and we're really casting a wide net. So that's, that's going to be a reverse translation. We'll have an existing regimen that's gone to phase three. And then for some of the newer agents in the phase one, uh, we're trying to develop, you know, one trial is an adaptive design where we have three combinations in the front line. You know, each, each, you know, we treat a certain number of patients, the battle type design, and then move forward. And I think, you know, these are challenging designs. They, they require extensive statistical work, a large number of biopsies, but we need to do some of those. But I also think that if something is looking reasonably promising, we take a swing at it in the phase three, too, because we have to have these drugs available for the patients. The quicker we can get drugs to the patients to benefit them, is th that's the goal. So uh, the MYSTIC trial was mentioned, uh, Naya. Do you want to just briefly describe what that is and sure. uh, what's the status? So I, I think that um, you know, there's a lot of interest to extrapolate the experience of IPI and NEVO to other tumor types beyond melanoma. Um, certainly lung cancer is, is, um, um, is, is an area of interest. Uh, the initial you know, trials with combining PD-1 pathway with CTLA-4, I think we're encouraging um, the ipilimumab nivolumab combination or the dervalumab tremolumab combination. Uh, they're both in, in phase three trials to see if combination or dual PD-1 pathway and CTLA-4 blockade um, can be more effective than chemotherapy in the first line setting. Um, the initial look at the uh, MYSTIC trial was it did not meet its PFS uh, primary endpoint. The co-primary was overall survival, the, so the trial is continuing to um, mature and then we, we will look up to the future for updated uh, uh, data set. So I think uh, both 227 and MYSTIC I think are highly anticipated trials to, to sort of look at the potential for combination immunotherapy, um, and we'll see.